everybody welcome back to crazy dave's crew i'm laura and you're watching thursday threads today i'm still playing with two and a half inch strips so don't go away we'll be back and i will show you how we're changing it up just a bit so to start with i have cut two and a half inch strip out of my leaf dark leaf fabric. I've got a two and a half inch strip of my lighter fabric, a two and a half inch strip of that fabric. Now I'm going to cut one and a half inch strips of my outside fabric. I'm using my Fiskars Rotary Cutter Combo and there's my one and a half inch line and I'm just going to go there. And I need two of those. So, got there. So, one and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Two and a half and one and a half. I'm going to cut up some more so I've got myself a nice little handful of strips to sew together. We'll be right back. All right, I'm going to use my piecing foot. And you see how it's got this nice guide here on the right hand side. I really like this piecing foot. So I am going to put that on. Just snap it on. And I'm going to change my needle position to the center. And then we are going to start sewing these strips down. So I am just going to start sewing a quarter inch seam, attaching my strips to each other. Like so. You can see, hopefully you can see, I've got my piecing foot the edge right along the edge of my my strips and we're just going to sew those down with this one I'll do the next one and on down till I have my five strips together and then I'll show you what else we're gonna do be back in a few minutes so we have pieced together my strips so I've got my two and a half inch strips in the center and then my one and a half inch strips are on the edge so I've got them pressed and we are ready to cut. So with the seams, that makes it two, four, six, seven, eight, plus a quarter, plus a quarter. So that means eight and a half. So we should be eight and a half inches this way. So I want to cut eight and a half inches this way. So let us cut a couple and see what happens. So I'm going to get this lined up here. And this ruler is six and a half inches, and I want eight and a half inches, so I will just cut these at eight and a half inches. And off we go.
some of my pieces put together. Now I just have to decide how big I want to make it and how I want to finish it. I'm leaning towards a couple more rows and then doing it uh, with some fleece on the back and just kind of making it like a cuddle quilt. Um, I like how this looks. It changes the look of the fence rail and gives it just a little bit more of an interesting design by changing the width of one of my strips. Before we finish today, I want to give a big shout out to sewinginabarn.com. Thank you so much for uh, sharing one of our videos in your website. And I want to make sure we put a link to your website down in the description. So be sure to check that out. Check out uh, sewinginabarn.com. And we will see you next time on Thursday Threads. Thanks for joining us on Crazy Dave's Crew. If you haven't, haven't subscribed yet, be sure to turn that red button to gray. And don't forget to come back to see us. Have a great day.